Hi, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a problem on production function. The question is like this. The short run production function of a firm is given as that is x is equal to minus 0.1 l cube plus l square plus 12 l where x is the output per week and l is the number of uh, number of laborers employed. So it is here number of laborers employed. Okay, we have to find the value of L that maximizes the average product of labor. Okay, so let us see how to solve this. So what is our production function? We have the production function like x is equal to minus 0 0.1 L cube plus L uh, sorry 6 L square uh, plus 12 L. This is the production function for a firm. That is the short run production for a for a firm. Okay. First, we need to find the APL. What is APL? That is average product of labor. Average product of labor is simply the total output. Our total output is x, and we divide it by l. So this gives us the average product of labor. And here it is simply the value of x is minus 0.1 l cube plus 6 l square plus 2 l okay and we divide it by l now this l is now we expand this so we have minus 0 0.1 l cube upon l plus 6 l square upon l plus 2 l upon l okay so our apl that's average product of labor is here one l will get cancelled here this will get cancelled with 1L of L square and here L and L will get cancelled. So we have left, uh, we are being left with uh, minus 0 0.1L square in the first term, okay, uh, plus uh, here we have 6L and here we have 12, okay. This is our average product of labor. Now, uh, first order condition for maximization of average product of uh, of labor requires that is so I will write here first order condition for uh, maximization of APL requires that requires the derivative of that is the derivative of average product of labor with respect to L should be equal to zero okay that means we need to differentiate uh, this average product of labor with respect to l okay and set it equal to zero okay now that implies what is the derivative of l square so the derivative of l square is simply this two will become coefficient we have l and this two is subtracted by one that's two minus one we get two l okay so by power function rule i'm just trying to make it clear here Okay, so we get here uh, now 2 into uh, minus 0 0.1. Okay, so this will become minus 0 0.2 L. Okay, plus what is the derivative of L? So we have L and it can be written as L to the power 1. What is the derivative of this term? Let us see. Now, by power function rule, this one will become coefficient we have l and this is uh, this exponent is subtracted by one okay so this is one l to the power one minus one is zero okay so we have one into anything raised to the power zero is equal to one so it is equal to one that means the derivative of l is equal to one so if derivative of l is one so we have six into one is six okay similarly since no l is involved word here the derivative of a constant is zero here okay so i will now write uh, the derivative of 2l is equal to zero you get it okay now we equate it equal to zero okay now if we solve it for l transposing this 0. Uh, 0. 0.2 l minus 0. 0.2 on rhs so we have 6 is equal to it will get uh, it will uh, become positive so we have 0. 0.2 L or we can write 0 0.2 L is equal to 6 2 uh, 0 0.2 L can be written as 2 upon 10 L is equal to 6 
which means L is equal to, if we transpose this term to the RHS, it will get reciprocated, okay? So we have 6 into 10 upon 2, okay? Or L is equal to, now we have 2 ones are, 2 threes are 6, so 3 tens are 30, okay? That means uh, number of labors uh, that maximize our average product of labor is equal to 30, okay? And we can also check the second order condition to be uh, 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 to see whether it is really the case or not. So the second order condition requires second order condition requires that the derivative of APL, okay, the derivative of APL with respect to L should be less than zero. That means the second derivative. That is d square upon d l square of a p l should be less than zero. Okay, that means we need to differentiate this uh, this uh, this function again with respect to l. Okay, why? Because this is a d. Uh, this is d upon dl this is the first derivative so i will write this is the first derivative of apl okay now second derivative is simply the derivative of the first derivative okay this will give us the second derivative now if this is our sec uh, first derivative now it is derivative will be then now what will be the derivative of l it is one so we are left with minus 0 0.2 derivative of constant as i told you is equal to zero so we are left with zero here okay and here we can see it is less than zero minus 0 0.2 is less than zero so we can say that second order condition for maximization is also satisfied that means the number of labors that maximize our average product of labor is equal to 30 actually uh, the second derivative gives us uh, shows us whether uh, after reaching maximum or minimum what how does uh, the curve behave okay so since this is uh, minus 0 0.2 that means we have a negative slope here okay because when we reach maximum if it is our APL okay first order condition requires that the derivative of average product of labor should be equal to zero this is given by the first derivative okay second derivative as just tells us the slope of uh, slope of the um, first derivative okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you